Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I'm going to explain you about the concept of decision tree learning in the subject of machine learning. You'll have this de decision tree not only in machine learning, you'll have it in data warehouse as well. So, and in some other subjects as well. So, but in machine learning, we are going to see how we classify the data based on machine, uh, you know, decision tree algorithm. Okay, so I'm going to divide the video into three parts. The part one will be all about the explanation, the theoretical part related to decision tree learning um, some example and the algorithm everything theory only will be there in part one okay in part two i will take a numerical example and based on that example i will explain you the algorithm and in part three based on the data which we have got in part two based on the um, calculations which we did in part two based on that we will learn how to create a decision tree okay done so uh, the video is divided into three parts and make sure that you watch all the three parts so that you can understand it in a better way so first you know what decision tree is already uh, we have learned about this in data warehouse and data mining if you are not done with that subject don't worry i will explain you everything from right from the beginning about the decision tree okay so first where you will use this decision tree this decision tree is mainly used in case of classification and also in the regression also so in tree structured classification in classification we have some algorithms right uh, we have naive based cl classifier like that we have some algorithms so um, like that in classification decision tree is also one of the algorithm it is a tree based classifier we will be classifying the data based on a tree structure okay done and one more thing if you are having your exam schedule nearby just let me know your date of exam in the comment section along with your college name and also give me your feedback about the video whether you are able to understand my previous videos or not right so that i can uh, you know understand if, if you are not able to understand then i'll try to improve it more better if you say that i'm able to understand then i'll get an encouragement to do more and more videos okay done so let's um, begin now so uh, you understood right decision tree is a tree structured algorithm which can be used in both classification as well as regression done but here as of now we, we are going to see how it is implemented in ca classification so actually uh, when you 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 are having a data set right some raw data you're having and you are giving that data set to an algorithm and that algorithm will classify the data right so here which algorithm we are using to classify the data decision tree algorithm done so what is classification of data then so when we are giving the data to the classifier it can be any type of classifier it can be a naive based classifier it can be a decision tree classifier or any classifier when you are giving the data to a classifier it will say to which class the data belongs to whether the data belongs to the yes class or no class or positive class or negative class so based on the context based on the example it will tell us to which class the example to which class the particular data belongs to it will divide the data into subcategories into two categories or three categories or four categories also done so this is about the decision tree learning we are going to classify the data using the decision tree algorithm so here actually we are having two types of nodes okay one is decision node and the other one is leaf node decision node is nothing but the root node okay which will take all the decisions from where the branching will begin is called as a decision node and leaf node is nothing but the uh, you know the last row or you can say you have you cannot have further branches from there okay they are the last row you cannot still branch them out okay so two types of nodes you are having the decision node and the leaf node so now let us try to understand that with an example the loan system okay and the output which you're going to get out of this loan system is whether you have to give loan to a, that particular person or not and for this you're going to see whether the person is employed or not and you're going to check the credit score of the employee and you're going to check the income of the employee okay done so first what you will do you will be dumping the entire data into the decision node that is the root node into the root node you will first dump the entire data you're having that is if you're having the list of 100 people let us say then you're going to give the list of entire 100 people to this employed node okay now what this employed node will do it will check whether the person each and in, it will check for each and every individual person right so it will check whether that person for it will check first it will check for the first person first person whether he is employed or not if it is he if he is employed then this side if it is not if he is not employed then this side okay like that for second person and the this employed 
node will check for the employment details of all the persons all the hundred people okay then it will classify it into two categories one is the employed people and the other one as the are the uh, unemployed people okay so yes then all the employed people will come here that is d2 like first we have taken d right d is the entire data now the data is being divided into two parts d1 is data set 1 and d2 is data set 2 right unemployed employed now so uh, if they are unemployed then you need to check for the credit score right if their credit score is high then again you will get another classification here d3 and if their credit score is low you will get a another classification d4 and here after in the income also for all the people in d2 suppose we are having 65 people in d2 then for each and every person that you have to check the income if the income of that particular person is high then they will be into d5 another data set and if the income of the person is low then they will be into another data set let us take it as d6 okay so like that you need to check for the first employment details then you need to check the credit score or the income based on the employment details then you need to classify them again based on their credit score and income so now you got d3 d4 d5 d6 you got four data sets right so in these four data sets whom you have to approve that means for which people you have to approve the loan for whom you have to reject the loan if the credit score is high then you can approve them that means d3 set is approved and if the credit score is low then you should reject them that is d4 set is rejected even income also if it if their income is high you can approve you can give them loan if the income is low you cannot give them the loan because if the income is loan if the income is low like from where will they repay the loan you need some security you need some surety to give the loan right so you need to check what is the source for them to repay the loan you have to check that before giving the loan otherwise your company will be into loss right so based on some criteria they are dividing it the people into two categories whether to approve loan for those people and whether to reject loan for those people and based how they are going to classify based on the decision tree right so this is what um, decision tree uh, this is how the decision tree algorithm goes on okay now let us see the algorithm the steps in the algorithm and then in the as i said in the part 2 we will be seeing the numerical example right so see now so um, the algorithm goes like this in the given data set you have to first choose the target attribute so you'll have some attributes several attributes like you'll have day the you'll have the age of the employee you will have the income status you will have the all you know credit status and all you'll have it among all those you need to choose the target attribute okay now second step what you have to do you have to calculate the information gain of the target attribute and that information gain you have to calculate by using this formula negative p by p plus n log p plus p by p plus n to the base 2 minus n by p plus n log n by p plus n to the base 2 okay and this formula you can also here you have negative here you have negative right you can take the negative common and you can write as a plus also here okay so this is how the formula goes on you need to calculate the information gain only to the target attribute okay and you will have other attributes uh, apart from target attributes you'll have some other attributes right so for those attributes you need to calculate the entropy okay then how do you calculate the entropy then you, ca you can calculate the entropy by information gain into probability that means for those also you need to calculate the information gain but you don't have any work with the information gain of those remaining attributes okay so you need to multiply the information gain and probability of that particular attribute probability is nothing but how many times it has occurred and what are the total number of uh, total occurrences right so that you will understand in example don't worry what is p what is n everything you will understand in the example don't worry okay now so you need to find out the information gain and multiplied with probability will give you the entropy okay so here is the formula for entropy but in order to simplify it i'm telling you information gain times probability you do you will get the entropy done now third step is done you will be calculating the entropies for each and every remaining attribute no, it's non-target attributes okay in the fourth step what you'll do you is you'll calculate the gain right you have to calculate the gain for each and every attribute how do you calculate the gain information gain minus entropy so for each and every uh, remaining attribute you need to calculate the gain done so based on the gain value of all the attributes you are going to construct the decision tree done so 
that's all for this video in this video i just explained everything theory about the decision tree algorithm in the next video i will explain you the numerical example and then in the part 3 video i will tell you i will show you how to construct a decision tree with the calculations that we have obtained okay done so this is not very hard when compared to the other concepts in machine learning i personally felt that this concept is a bit easier when compared to other um, you know theoretical issues theoretical concepts and all so of course theory is always easy than uh, problems but still you know the theory should be interesting the theory should be a bit understandable to us but that theory is really very dry and i'm really trying my best to explain it to you in the best way so if you have understood whatever i've explained in the video clearly hit the like button and also share it with your friends if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe hit the bell icon you can receive notifications whenever I post a new video and if you want me to make any other videos or any other topic topics let's just let me know in the um, comment section i'll definitely do it for sure and let's meet up in the next coming video with part two